smallest plaza in the entire world. solo travel vlog so this is actually uh, my third time uh, traveling solo and i'm still nervous but i'm um, excited at the same time so yeah guys um nandito tayo sa city of love which is iloilo -Ilo. so yeah aside from iloilo -Ilo city uh, we are going to visit as well the gigantes island i think that's the highlight of this trip the uh the uh, gigantes island so uh that will include island hopping so excited talaga ako sa tour na yan. and of course we are also going to visit the gimaras Island. So, medyo malapit lang siya dito sa Iloilo. I think it's just a 15 minutes boat, right? So, yun. Anyways, guys, uh, time check. It's already 12 midnight. So, I just arrived here sa hotel. Uh, hotel dito sa Airbnb. 13 minutes ago from uh, the Iloilo airport. So, my flight with Air Asia was supposed to be at 7.45 in the evening. However, it was rescheduled to 9.45 due to uh, operational issues. So, it was actually also my first time traveling building talaga ng um, gabi. Yung flight ko is gabi talaga siya. Before kasi ay, yung flight ko lang naman is umaga. Usually madaling araw. Pero pag uh, pagdating doon sa uh, destination ko is uh, may araw naman na siya. Pero kasi gabi na talaga. Ito super late pa. So buti nga is may nabook pa ako doon sa uh, airport. Which is nag grab taxi ako actually. Pero actually guys medyo mahal siya. Medyo pricey siya from uh, Iloilo Airport going to uh, dito sa may barangay Sambag, Haro, Iloilo. Kasi dito ako nag check in sa may uh, Airbnb ng Telis Bed and Breakfast. So, yeah. Pero ang sabi naman ni Kuya Driver kanina, uh, kung nag-taxi ka daw talaga, medyo mas mahal siya. I'm, I don't know why, pero baka fixed rate baka. So, hindi rin ako uh, sure talaga. So, yun. So, yeah guys. um Anyways, uh, after ko pala kanina mag-check in, um, pumunta muna ako ng 7-11. Medyo walking distance lang naman siya dito. Medyo nakakatakot lang siya kasi gabi. Pero, okay naman. Safe naman ako. So, don't worry. So, yeah. Bumili lang ako ng, um, may binili lang ako and bumili din ako ng food and drink kasi uh, medyo nagugutom ako. Kasi yung kinain ko lang kanina sa airport is 
uh, yung kwasan, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, and yung uh, strawberry soda. So, yun lang talaga yung kinain ko <laughs> sa Manila bago ako nakapunta dito. So, and close na rin kasi yung restaurant nila. So, yeah, wala akong choice kundi pumunta na ng 7 and 11 to buy uh, food na lang. So, yun, I will just uh, eat and we'll clean up the den. Tapos, siguro mag-a-unpack na lang din ako uh, for preparation uh, for my upcoming uh, activity uh, tomorrow, which is uh, bake ko na lang kayo guys. Tomorrow, guys, kung saan tayo pupunta. And anyways, bukas na lang din ako maglulong tour dito sa may uh, tennis bed and breakfast. Pero, ayun na siya. Um, quick, uh, ano lang, quick look lang. So, very small lang naman. Pero, mag-isa lang naman ako. So, wala naman tayong choice. Na. So, yeah, guys, kasi, yeah, bukas na lang ako maglulong tour kasi nga, um, there might be other guests dito, diba, sa Airbnb and I don't want to uh, further uh, disturb them. So, yeah, guys, see you tomorrow. Bye! Good night! Good morning everyone! So it's day one here in Iloilo and yung itinerary ko for today is magiging Maras Island tour ako. So it's currently uh, 8 a.m. in the morning and bababa muna ako for breakfast. Yun muna yung gagawin ko saglit lang then after that aalis na ako kasi kailangan ko pumunta pa ng port. Uh, and sasakay ako ng boat I think papuntang Gimaras Island pero sabi nila saglit lang naman daw yung uh, boat ride, I think it will take 20 minutes at least however syempre pabiyahe pa ako papuntang port so um, yun meron naman akong contact uh, para dun sa tour ko sa Gimaras Island and sabi ko naman mga around 10am ako makakarating ata doon sa Gimaras uh, Port I think it's sa Jordan Port so yeah, and before anything else, uh, let's do a quick uh, room tour pala kasi baka makalimutan ko siya mamaya. So, yeah. ta -da! So, welcome to my room here at Talis Bed and Breakfast. So, this is an Airbnb, guys, and single room lang to. So, yeah, there's a single bed. I think parang twin bed siya. So, malaki na rin. And, mag-isa lang naman ako. So, kasyang-kasya. And, there's a table and chair. Actually, and request ko yan. Kasi, initially, wala siyang table. And, na-request ko talaga since I brought my laptop. And, yeah. Kailangan ko siya for uh, my other stuff. And, if kakain ako dito sa room. And, meron din dito view. Ayan. Medyo mainit na. Pero, maganda siya dito kapag uh, medyo uh, umaga pa lang talaga. So, yeah. And they have here a TV, a cable TV, and there's a lamp. Yeah, and dito yung charging station. Just ko nilalagay at yun charge yung uh, uh, gadgets ko. So, yeah. And here's the uh, bathroom or the CR. That's me. Hi. Yes, ito na yung suot ko. <laughs> Papuntang Gimaras Island. So, yeah. Ito yung mga gamit ko. There's a mirror here, and there. there's the toilet. Yeah. Here's the shower area. So, yun, good thing naman, malakas yung pressure ng shower nila. And, yeah, okay na okay talaga yun. Kasi yun, usually yun yung hinahanap ko kapag uh, nag-check-in ako sa mga ganito for uh, traveling. So, yeah, that's all for our quick room tour. So yeah guys, bababa na tayo uh, for uh, breakfast. Here's the common area guys. So ayan. In fairness naman, maganda yung space nila. Yung BNB nila dito. So I think mga 6 floors at ato. I'm not pretty sure. So yeah. mag elevator na ako papunta. Grab floor. Hi 
good morning. This guest. Wow. Here's my breakfast. Yay. papuntang City Mall, Parola. So, from there, sasakay ako ng fast grab papport ang uh, Jordan or Jordan uh, port. Papuntang Gimaras na yun. So, I think yung biyahe lang naman to take 20 minutes, siguro. So, ayun guys, update ko kayo later pagdating ko ng um, Gimaras na yun. Thank you! Oh, there's the Jordan Ferry. Ito ko sasakay guys. MB Pop. Deep. Chinese the boat. After 15 minutes of ferry ride, we are now here at Horden Port, Gimaras Island. Hi guys, nandito na pala ako sa Gimaras Island. And yung first stop natin is dito sa may uh, Hordan Gimaras signage. So ayan siya, nagpicture-picture ako diyan and video. So ayan and ito nga pala yung tour guide ko, si Kuya Joel. Hi Kuya Joel. Ayan, say hi. Ayan, good morning. <laughs> so ayan nahanap po siya sa may DIY na Facebook page and inad ko lang siya and nag-message ako sa kanya. So ayan nag-offer naman siya ng Gimaras uh Day tour. So, ayun. It's worth 1.5 lang. Diba na, kuya? Ayun. 1.5 lang siya instead of 2,000. So, ayun. And private na siya. And, ayan. May sarili tayong tricycle. So, yeah, guys. So, update namin kayo later kung saan pa kayo pupunta. Bye. So, ayun, guys. Yung second stop namin. This is yung smallest plaza in the entire world. No, <laughs> kuya? In the world daw. So, ayun. Ito daw yung pinaka-maliit na plaza talaga. So, ilang square meters lang? So, ayun. 240 square meters lang daw siya. So, So oh, hi guys, ito yung next stop namin. Nandito kami ni Kuya sa May San Lorenzo Wind Farm. So ayan, as you can see, ang daming windmills and ang lalaki nila in person. Ilang total nga to Kuya? So uh, meron silang 27 na windmills no, in total. So ayan po, I think ito daw yung nagsusupply ng uh, kuryente or, or electricity sa uh, Iloilo. Gimaras and ah, uh, ayun, Iloilo and Gimaras daw. Wow, sobrang laki. As in guys, kung kayo talaga yung uh, makakakita nito in person, matutuwa kayo. <laughs> Gosh, look at that view. So hi guys, so yung next stop natin is dito sa may man-made uh, forest. So ayan, ito siya yung itsura niya. So para siya yung nasa Bohol na man-made forest. Good job! Yes. 
So guys, we are here at Trappist Monastery. So ayan, si Bansyo ng mga monghe dito sa May Aguimaras. So ito, included din siya sa Aguimaras Day Tourism. So, meron din ditong souvenir. <laughs> Mini souvenir shop ni ate. Ayan. Magkano to usually ate yung mga ganito? Oh, 25. Ito. 25 din, din siya lahat. Yung same din yun, no? Ayan, oh, may ginagawa si ate. Oh, oh siya may cross. Oh. oh, siya na may cross, ma'am. Ito po yung tinatawag ng mga pari na miraculous thing. Oh. Ito niya lang po matatagpuan sa ate sa Gimaras. Aha. Uh -huh. Ito dito doon siya. Ayun. Ano pa na yung ate? Ma'am? Ano pangalan mo? Tawagan mo na ako na Bill. Bill daw, oh. Si Ate Bill. So, ayan guys, kung pupunta kayo dito sa may um, Gimara signage, so, ayan, makikita nyo si Ate dito sa may gilid. Makaswerte yun po, ma'am. Maganda to, ma'am, yung ibigay lang yung tao na yun. Maraswerte kayo, ma'am. Ay, hello, thank you. Nagbigay si Kuya. Maswerte daw siya if binigay ito sa'yo. If, ayan, so, binigay ni Kuya sa akin. So, thank you. Dito, oh ayun. Sin Sinukuan tree. So ayan, pwede daw natin siyang hanapin sa social media kung ano yung history ng Sinukuan tree. So ayan. Thank you so much Ate. So, ayan. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. A few moments later. So I got their famous mango pizza. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so so excited to taste this. I mean, look at that. Mm. Mango shake. This mango pizza, guys, is really 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 good. Grabe, sobrang sarap niya and nakatatlong slices at ako nito kasi ito na yung lunch ko. So guys, if ever mapunta kayo dito sa May Gimaras, make sure to try their famous mango pizza dito sa May Pit Stop. Ito daw yung buong view ng Mango Plantation. So, mixed private and government. So, yan. Nakikita nyo yan? Hindi sa atin yan. <laughs> sa kanila yan. So, yan. Grabe ang lawak. Hello po. Hi po kayo. <laughs> yan. Good afternoon. Yan. So, yan guys. Maliliit pa daw yan ng mga puno ng mangga. Grafted. So, parang grafting. Siya. Oh, awesome. O, diba? At least may learnings tayo. Tsaka, guys, favorite ko yung manga. So, yan. Ah, 
Tira mo maraming sinasanga. Oo nga, no, ang dami. Uh, Kaya nakitay niya sa boto dito sa puno. Ayan guys, so nandito tayo sa mango plantation dito sa Gemara. So ito, ito na yung sa government, no? Kasi yung unang pinuntahan namin kanina is private siya. I think, uh, yung pagmamayari siya ng Ayala po, di ba? Ito naman government. Tapos yung kanina, Ayala daw kasi yun. So, yes, tabi-tabi po. Grabe, lalaki ng puno ng mangga dito. Hi guys, so update, it's almost 2 in the afternoon and nandito kami sa second uh, stop, uh, second to the last stop namin ni Kuya Joel. So nandito ko kami sa Megisi Lighthouse. Wala pa kami sa exact location ng lighthouse pero papunta na kami doon. So ito yung nilalakaran namin ngayon and dito naman, ayan, dagat na siya yung part na yan. So yeah, ito yung ano, harap down ng uh, Iloilo. Doon pa? Oh, doon pa. Okay, sige. Ayun, guys. Papakita namin yung view later. So this is our last stop guys. So we're currently here at Raymen or Raymen Beach Resort Corporation. Dito siya sa may Alubihod, Nueva Valencia, Guimaras. So ito yung entrance and they have an entrance fee of 50 pesos per head for adult and 25 pesos per head for uh, children. So yeah, let's go in. So here's the Ryman Beach Resort. So if you guys are staying here in Bimara, so it's one of the uh, resort na pwede nyo i-check out. I think uh, it has a beach front. So yun, if you want yung resort nyo dito sa Bimara sa so yung beach front, then it's one of the uh, resort that you can uh, check out here in Bimara. So yeah, meron silang sari-sari store dito for your basic needs. What's up guys? I hope you guys are doing well. And I'm currently here at the beach and I am enjoying yeah. Mr. Swan and Beach. Perfect combination. So 
hi guys! So, update. Uh, nakabalik na kami dito sa my Awardan Port. Kasi kailangan ko nang bumalik ng Iloilo. Kasi hanggang 6.30 lang ata, diba kuya? So, ayun guys. Uh, nandito si Kuya Joel. So, I highly recommend uh, Kuya Joel. And he, he was actually a recommended uh, sa DIY. And recommended siya ng KMJS. So, ayun, diba? And yung rate niya lang is 1.5. So, ayun guys, if you're a solo traveler or group of 3 or 4, nag-accept at least 4, no? So, ayun, pwede nyo siya uh, contactin, guys. So, ilalagay ko na lang sa description box or somewhere in this video yung full name ni Kuya sa Facebook. So, you can message him and inquire him for uh, his rates and if available siya sa dates na gusto nyo. So, yun guys, uh, that concludes our uh, Gimaras uh, day tour. So, thank you so much, Kuya, for uh, such an experience. Hindi ka lang ako nakabili ng pasalubong kasi hindi na talaga kakayanin ng oras <laughs> ko. So, ayun guys, bye and see you later sa Iloilo. Nakabalik na ako dito sa aking uh, B&B. Dito sa may Talis Bed and Breakfast. So, nakarating ako dito almost 7.20 in the evening kanina. Tapos, um, dumaretso muna ako sa restaurant nila para kumain. So, nag-dinner ako and yung in-order ko is yung pork sisig nila. So, it's worth 150 pesos pero meron na siyang uh, kasama rice and uh, a free iced tea. So, ipakita ko na lang dito uh, yung um, itsura ng kinain ko kanina. So, yeah, anyways, pala kanina, um, hindi ako nag-taxi from the uh, City Mall uh, Parola. So, ginawa ko, ng jeep na lang ako. And, yun, sakto naman, binaba naman ako dito sa may uh, Telis mismo. It's may accommodation ko mismo. And it's worth 15 pesos. Dinry ko talaga siya kasi ang mahal kasi ng taxi, guys. So, it's 200 plus. And even yung tricycle doon sa City Mall Parola, nasa 200 din yung rate nila. So, ayun, since hindi naman ako nagmamadali, uh, ginawa ko ng jeep na lang ako. Kasi gusto ko din talaga matry mag jeep uh, dito. So, medyo tumagal lang siya. Mga 30 minutes to 40 minutes siguro. Kasi medyo nag-antay pa kasi uh, yung jeep ni driver doon sa uh, pinagpaparadahan nila. Kasi nga, syempre, nag-aantay pa ng pasahero. Pero, okay naman. May traffic. Pero, uh, it's not that uh, too much naman. Sakto lang, sakto lang yung traffic. So, Yun nga, it's almost, um, it's 8.33 na in the evening. So, hindi na muna ako lalabas today kasi pagod na rin ako. And other than that, meron akong tour bukas which is yung Gigantes Island. And medyo maaga yung call time. So, 4 a.m. yung um, magsusunto dito sa hotel. And babiyahe pa kami papuntang Carlos which is I think around 3 hours din ata siya. Kasi 8 a.m. yung island happy So, kailangan na and with that, so it means I need to sleep na maaga kasi sobrang wala din akong tulog kagabi. So, nahihirapan pa akong makansya. So, yun. Uh, I'm just going to prepare uh, my things na dadalhin ko tomorrow papuntang Gigantes Island. Then after that, uh, I'll just call it a day. So, matutulog na lang din ako and um, sana magising ako ng maaga mamaya talaga. Oh my gosh. So, yun guys. And anyways, pala nakalimutan kong sabihin <laughs> pala kanina. So, um, yung rate dito sa uh, Telis Bed and Breakfast, yung nakuha ko is around 5,447 for 4 nights na siya. And dito ko pinili instead of sa city proper kasi um, they have... Um, you can actually extend your stay. So, it's just an additional 100 pesos per hour. And dito ko pinili kasi sa last day. Siyempre, di ba yung normal checkout sa hotel is around 12 p.m. However, kasi yung flight ko going back to Manila on Sunday will be at um, 6.45 to 7 p.m. ata siya. What if ko madelay pa? So, yun, bala ko mag-extend na lang para hindi naman ako masyado mag-antay doon sa airport. And baka kasi um, um, hindi rin ako makabalik agad kasi bala ko sa last day mag-ikot-ikot pa. And kung ano pa yung pwede ah, gawin dito sa Iloili City, baba ka bumalik na. So, yun guys, uh, that's it for uh, today. And um, I think hindi na rin ata ako makakapag-edit ng vlog. So, I'll try tomorrow. I don't know. I I'm not sure. So, yeah. Pagod na rin kasi talaga ako. So, yeah. Uh, good night, guys. And uh, see you tomorrow sa Gigantes uh, Island.